Yeah. Like good. Good. Are you yeah, actually good? good? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Good. I'm gonna freaking scream. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. You won't. Put TV down. All right, we did that. What's going on guys, Dustin here with Custom Offset. Today I'm joined by Coda. And we're back with another episode of Head to Head. So you guys have seen this series before. It's where we take your gallery ads and put them against each other and tell you which one we would pick, left or right. So pretty simple uh, in that regard. Before we get into that though, we are doing a full build giveaway and this one's actually pretty cool. Um, we teamed up with the Jed Foundation and we're actually uh, supporting the Jed Foundation and raising awareness uh, for mental health uh, for this nation's teens and young adults. So one that hits super close to home for us, obviously, um, as some of you guys know, we actually lost a member of our team um, in October of last year uh, to his struggle with depression. So it means a lot to us. Uh, to help us out, support this cause, and get entered to win uh, amp wheels, axe tires, and a Magoy suspension lift kit, which is a pretty awesome setup. Just gotta pick up one of these, these hoodies right here. It's pretty awesome. Customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway is where you can find that. Are you ready? Let's go. Have you done this before? No. <laughs> All right, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna go through both gallery ads. We're gonna talk about them a little bit and then um, Johnny's gonna count down three, two, one and then we're gonna pick left or right and talk about why. So on the left in our first battle is a 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 on 20 by 10 fuel assault, uh, 35 by 12 and a half ridge grabs, uh, awesome tire of course, on a seven inch rough country suspension lift kit. On the right, we have a 2017 Ram 1500 on uh, 20 by nine alloy ions, um, style 134s of course. He's on Ironman all country MTs, same size 35, 13 and a half with a BDS air suspension kit. Let's see if he's got any notes on that. No notes other than it's a BDS lift. He's got two inch spacers all the way around. This truck's dope. I absolutely, I forget what they call that color, but I absolutely love that color truck. That's super deep red. I'm not really a fan. What? <laughs> Coda, what do you mean you're not a fan? It's not black. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so done with you. Um, so other than that, not a lot else going on. It looks like some aftermarket headlight action going on there on the Ram, little window tint, kind of tied all together. On the Silverado, we have a seven inch rough country lift kit. It's the knuckle lift which, uh, with the struts, which is super cool. That lift does not increase the overall track width of the truck, which is one of the only kits that does that. The Rough Country kit? Yeah. Doesn't increase the track width yeah. of the truck? Wow. Yeah. Pretty neat, actually. I, it's one of, if not the only lift kit to do that. So fuel assaults, of course, super popular wheel, very concave wheel, no lip on this one whatsoever. Oh, fantastic picture. Looks good. He's got some good photos in there. Yeah. Oh. I think this might have been, yeah, Cody put, or Lawson put this in. So this is a, a build we actually did here oh, at CO. Makes sense then. Looks like a Cody Lawson picture, right? Uh, so yeah, looks like wheels, tire suspension. Don't really see a whole lot else on this one other than this super, uh, what are they, Mossy Oaks? Real tree, real tree. Sorry, I got my cameras wrong. Don't crucify me in the comments. Um, but it's he's got the- hunting season, man. Bro, don't even ask me right now. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. Johnny's gonna count down three, two, one, and then we're gonna pick left. Ready? Three, two, one. Right. right. Really? Even though you didn't like the color. The color sets me off, but- I'm Well, wait, hold on a second. You mean to tell me that you told me you didn't like the right truck because it wasn't black, and then you picked the right truck even though there was a black one on the left? Hey, go go by the personality, man, not the color. Got you on that one. Um, I am so done with you. I'm a diehard Ram guy through and through, and that's just all I've ever driven. It's a no-brainer for me to go with the Ram this time. Hell yeah, beautiful truck otherwise. All right, moving on, on to the next battle here is, on the left is a 2012 Chevy Silverado 1500 on tough T2As in a 26 by 14 with RBP Repulsor MTs and a 37 by 13 and a half on a 10 inch Magoy suspension lift kit. On the right is a F-150 Fuel Nuts 22 by 14s. Um, so same 14 wide, but a little bit smaller in diameter on a 375 45 tire, which is roughly 35 by 14 and a half, uh, if you calculate it out that way. And then, oh, those are new trail graps, of course. And he is on a eight inch BDS suspension lift kit. These builds are pretty sick so far. Both of these this are This is fantastic. gonna be a tough one. Um, so obviously on the left, you have 26s and 37s. On the right, you have 22s and 35s. So a little bit 
a smaller tire, a lot smaller mm -hmm. tire on the left, you know, on the Silverado compared to the F-150. Same general time frame, 2012 versus 2013, eight inch versus 10 inch lift kits, of course. So the Silverado's a nine inch Magoys with a one inch level on top. It's got two inch adder uh, leaf in the rear. So they did a, some trimming, which I would expect. Two inch rear spacers to flush that fitment up and then quarter inch in the front as well. On the F-150, on the F-150, it's a six inch BDS with a pro ride leveling kit stacked again for a total eight inches of lift. Pro comp add a leaf in the rear. So very similar suspension. Mm -hmm setups between both trucks so anyway super detailed builds on both of these or notes i should say on both of these trucks so um yeah i don't know what else there is to say about them is there anything else you want to see specifically not really this is going to be a tough one though <sighs> i agree both of them have high quality pictures too yeah Oof. very thorough gallery ad for sure all right but there can only be one winner here there can only be one Highlander. <laughs> you probably don't even know what movie that is. No, not a clue. I'm dumb with you. <laughs> Must have been before my time. Well, you're like 12, so. <laughs> All right, let's pick one. Are ready? you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Left. Whoa! Holy cow, Coda picked a Chevy. What is life? 2020's been a weird year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Um, it's got good contrast to it, for sure. Um, black and chrome, not just all black. And it's nice to have a little bit of color pop in there. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I don't know if it's coming from the wheel rings or if he's got some sort of a... Uh... I think there's a little powder coat yeah, action it looks down like there, a little too. Bit yep, of yep, yep. Yeah, you uh, can see it on the cross member. Yeah, just that uh, contrast color, you know, it's always a nice little accent to finish off your build. Agreed. And th this one was tough for me. The, the F-150 is really nice, too. I think what did it for me most is... Um, I'm not a huper, uh, a huper, a, a huge fan of the fuel nuts. They're just not my, mm -hmm. my cup of tea, I guess. Um, so I think that entire build could change with an updated wheel because right. that's kind of an older, outdated wheel. So, all right, up next, 2016 GMC Sierra 2500 HD on Dropstar 654s in the black and milled 24 by 14s. He is on TSL Boggers on a 44 by 19 and a half, which is crazy to me wow. an absolutely massive fox suspension lift kit on the right uh we're talking a brand new gladiator so 2020 on xf forged uh the 305s and the 26 by 14 on the 26 by 14s uh fury country hunter mts and a 37 14 and a half with a six inch rough country suspension lift kit these are rowdy all right first off let me just say if i saw this left truck uh -huh. coming down the highway at the other way it would absolutely break my neck and I'd be like, what the f was that? Yeah, it's got the, does he, does he spell it out in the notes here? That's the, I believe, Flog Industries makes this like, this grumper, they call it. It's a grill front bumper combination. Okay. And it's, it's very aggressive. Very, very yeah. aggressive as you can see. So it's a 14 inch suspension lift kit. Solid axle swap. Yep. Rowdy. Absolutely rowdy. Yeah, there's a lot of custom work that went into that one, for sure. For real, absolutely. Uh, in terms of the Gladiator, we're talking something a little bit more mild here. He's on those XF Forged, of course. Six inch suspension lift, which is pretty crazy for a Gladiator because he's clearing 37s with plenty of room to spare. Yeah, this Gladiator is very clean too. Yeah. It's really, uh, you don't see many people um, building them up quite like this, so. Correct. Yeah, it's super neat. I really like the wheel choice with um, with this build. It's definitely something a little bit different. So mm -hmm. I'm ready to rate it. Yep. I'm very interested to see what you, <laughs> what you pick. All right, let's do it. All right, three, two, one. Right. Whoa, first time we've disagreed in the whole episode. Why left? Um, it's huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love lifted things, man. It's because um, it's on boggers, isn't it? It, it is on you're, boggers. You're a bogger guy. <laughs> I can only imagine how loud it would be oh, passing me on the highway too. Can you, oosh. yeah, I don't know, man. I just, for me, that that front bumper grill thing kills it. I just can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm sorry. But, I want to, but I, I mean, can't. I like the trucks where it's like, people ask you, how do you get in that thing? Yeah. You're gonna need a ladder to, I love that. <laughs> Struggling is like my favorite thing to do. Oh my God. <laughs> The thing for me with the with the Gladiator, I'm not a huge Gladiator fan, but the thing for me is I really like that. Um, I believe that's a brushed or I guess a polished finish on the on those wheels, and it just looks good with that color. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a simple build, but I think it looks 
looks super good. So last but not least, we have the Battle of the 96s. On the left, we have a Dodge Ram 2500. On the right, we have a F250. So both three quarter tons, both 1996s. The Ram is rocking uh, 18 by nine fuel Tritons and Cooper Discover STT Pros in a 3512 and a half on a Supreme leveling kit. On the right, the F250 is fuel Mavericks 20 by 12s. Uh, so a little bit bigger wheel there. And he's on Open Country RT Toyos in a 35, 13 and a half. So same size tire, a little bit wider there. He's on a billet leveling kit. Code, is this your truck? It looks damn near. It literally <laughs> looks like almost exact. I thought it was your truck for a second. I was like, if they added this truck, <laughs> I'm definitely not picking it. <laughs> so let's talk about these two a little bit here. That's a super clean Ram. Yeah. So we got 12 valve, holy details. Dude. Three piece rear window, 20% tint, cowl hood, sport grill, fourth gen bumper, lots of body work. Uh, painted what powder, whatever, painted PB3 blue, whatever that means. Yeah. Is that the same color as your truck? Um, it's pretty close oh, actually, gosh. yeah. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Light bars, fourth gen mirrors, badges. This guy literally put everything down to what clutch he's running, what gauges he's got. It's, it's pretty awesome. On the F250, he is running a 12 inch exhaust tip, six position chip, stage two tune. So both are, or stage two clutch, excuse me. So both of them are manual. Manual. Extended cab long box versus a OBS. regular cab long box. Wait, is this one? Cody, right. you're killing this episode. <laughs> I don't know that there's anything else to talk about on this one. Are you, are nope. you ready to rate it? Yep. Three, two, one. Right. right. I picked right only because I knew you, you were going to pick left. So I'm, I don't know if a lot of people know or not, but this uh, Cummins on the left looks a lot like mine, my build that I have right now. But yours is not a Cummins. Mine's not a Cummins. Boo! Yeah, I went the cheap route. Anyways, um, that blue, oof. It does look good. That body style, oof. Everything else about it, oof. 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 I Honestly, I picked the Power Stroke for no reason other than I knew you were going to pick the Dodge. And I'm not a huge second gen guy. That OBS looks pretty clean though. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, this reminds me of like the farm truck that I grew up in, you know, or one of, you know, one of the farm trucks that I grew up around, I should say. Mm -hmm. So like, for sure, it looks super good. I don't think you can go wrong either way. They both look. I kind of like that two tone on it. Also, yeah, you yeah. don't see that a whole lot. It's a very 90s retro theme. Yeah. So that's another episode of Head to Head. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you mm -hmm. like the video, leave a like down below and maybe subscribe to the channel so we can keep making videos just like this. And if you want a truck for your chance to be featured in either uh, from the gallery or future Head to Head, you got to add it to our gallery, which you can do at customoffsets.com forward slash add. Is that simple? Good pictures only. Oh yeah, Coda cleans the gallery ads. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>